On Volvo Car's test track in Hellered, outside Gothenburg, they're working with new tests to develop what hopefully will be a future road train. The aim of this EU project is to make tomorrow's traffic both safer and more environmentally sound. As a driver in a road train, the idea is, in fact, to be able to both read the newspaper and eat breakfast while travelling at 90 kilometres an hour. Well, uh, right now I feel completely comfortable. I, I have to admit that in the beginning it feels really unusual and you're kind of prepared to take over at any moment. But it's also amazingly how quickly you get used to this and how quickly you start to become comfortable in this vehicle. And it's okay for you to make an interview with me when I'm sitting here in the back seat? Oh yeah, that's no problem. I mean, the car takes care of the driving, so I can do something else and I can easily talk with you. Is this the future? Yeah, I think this is the future. I mean, driving like this gives you completely new opportunities. Um, we could be in a traffic queue right now and it, it could be really boring to drive. And in those situations, it's really great if the car can take over. It is this truck that is the lead vehicle that communicates wirelessly with both of the passenger cars. Well, I think it's critical there on several counts. The, the first thing which is very important is that we have to actually demonstrate that this technology uh, is possible, that we have the opportunity to, to be in a situation where we can innovate, we can have research projects which will give solutions which can be put into practice. That's one strong factor. The other thing which is critically important is that the results from the research could actually fundamentally end up with improvements when you look at congestion, when you look at environmental factors and when you look at safety. So in the medium to long term it's a very positive uh, action for Europe itself. With this technology it is in fact completely possible to do more interesting things than dedicate your time to concentrated car driving. I can spend the time in the way that I want. So, so if I want, I can, I can start to open up my iPad and, well, I can check my email if I want. It's no problem. The car will take care of the rest. So I can, I can do my work if I want, or if I just want to relax and read a book, I can open a book and repeat, read about, well, whatever I like to read. And I think especially on, when you have these really long trips, when you, well, you're sitting in a car for two or three hours, it's great. I mean, you can do some work and it's, it's much more fun than uh, driving on straight motorways. In a project like this, it's not merely a question of developing advanced technology. In parallel, the researchers work with identifying the changes and problems that must be solved before the road train can become a reality. This is a question of both legislation and insurance regulations that authorities and motorists throughout the whole of the EU can accept. I think by uh, showing people the benefits in their, in their everyday lives uh, and showing that the safety aspects really are nothing to worry about, um, I think the market pull will drive the legislation to make it more acceptable. On the test track, they continue to work with the development of the road train. Now with more cars, and at higher speeds.